And as we continue to look ahead towards the election today, Vice President Kamala Harris is getting ready to make her closing arguments in Washington. Meanwhile, Trump will hold a news conference in Florida before heading to Pennsylvania. Yeah, it comes just days after a comedian's offensive jokes about Puerto Rico overshadowed Mr. Trump's big Madison Square, ra Madison Square Garden rally. CBS's new CBS News' Jared Hill has the latest. Wake up, everybody. Monday night, hundreds packed an arena in Philadelphia as one of Vice President Kamala Harris's biggest surrogates made a case to voters. Together, we have a chance to choose a new generation of leadership in this country. Some left offended by comments and jokes made during former President Donald Trump's New York City rally, including a comedian calling Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. They're making fun of our people in our island. Puerto Rico is not trust. Former President Donald Trump in battleground Georgia made no mention while unleashing new attacks on Vice President Harris. She's a hater. She was a lousy attorney general. She's a fascist, okay? But he pushed back on being labeled a Nazi by some Democrats. I'm the opposite of a Nazi. There are about 300,000 eligible Puerto Rican voters here in Pennsylvania, and some are slamming the controversy ahead of Trump's plans to visit the Keystone State today. Fans the fuel of hate and division, and that's why people are exhausted with him. In Michigan yesterday, Harris focused on the economy at a semiconductor plant and on the youth vote near the University of Michigan. We here are fighting for the future. Though she was heckled at a rally over another top issue, the war in Gaza. We all want this war to end as soon as possible. You just can't ask us to vote for genocide, and it's a terrible position to be in. Harris is facing a possible split among Michigan's sizable Arab American community over the war in what remains a tight race. Jared Hill, CBS News, Beaver.